Okay, Skane, welcome back. Take number seven. We're going to do you one better than a screenshot, and we're just going to do a quick little video to show you exactly how I got my settings. When you open up your voice meter here, uh, the whole left two-thirds of this panel, pretty much just advanced stuff that for our purposes, we don't need it. You can do crazy stuff with it. I don't know how most of it works. Really, all you're concerned about here is hardware output. Just find it here in your drop-down, your default device. Uh, I don't know the difference between WDM uh, and MME. You might, but uh, I've used both, and they both work equally well. I normally keep it on WDM headphones. And the last thing I do is menu. If these aren't checked by default, you might want to consider it, and that'll just make sure that this program starts up and displays the window. And if you don't see decibels rising or falling when you're playing music or whatever, you can be cued that maybe there's some audio issues that you want to look into before starting up your stream. Now you got the headphones set up as your hardware output device, you come in here, right click on your little speaker icon, grab your Windows default devices, this should be very familiar to you, you come to playback, and uh, you probably have your VR headset or your speaker set as the default device, you got a new option called voice meter input. So we're just going to make voice meter input the default device and hit OK, and now we're done with that. Come down here to your start bar, go to control panel, and ease of access speech recognition, text-to-speech. In here, uh, you can get advanced uh, functions for your text-to-speech stuff. You can change the voice and the speed and all that. You probably have because I think you've got Microsoft Zira as well. Uh, but you come in down here to advanced, and you can basically route around voice meter. So if I go to use this preferred uh, or use preferred audio device and then change that and apply it, if I hit preview, you will hear her speak. You have selected Microsoft Zero. So you heard her talk there. But if I go to advanced and I go to use this audio output device and then route it to my headset earphones, now I am telling my speech to chat or my text to speech to go around voice meter. And I have Streamlabs set to only hear what voice meter hears. So this is bypassing voice meter now and going directly to your headset earphones. Even though it both ends up in the exact same place, the computer sees it differently. So now when I preview, I'm hearing her talk. You're not hearing her talk. The reason you're not hearing her talk is because over here in Streamlabs, a panel that, again, you should be pretty familiar with, uh, or OBS or whatever you're using, my mixer, I uh, have this set as... Uh, my audio input, hold on, where is it? There it is. My audio input for the stream is set to voice meter instead of my headphones or my speakers. So now only the things that go into voice meter get heard by the stream. So anything that I force to go around voice meter, even if it ends up in my headphones the same place, the stream doesn't hear it. And in that way, speechchat.com, which uses your text to uh, speech settings, if I come in here and hit test, I hear Wingling Dragon said test. You didn't hear anything because I have it routed directly into my headphone. So that's how I have it all set up. You could do some pretty crazy stuff here with this voice meter. Uh, I haven't dabbled in most of it, uh, but maybe you can figure out some more advanced stuff. But that's the super basic, nitty gritty, how to get going. And I hope that helps, man. Your stream is awesome. Keep it up. Keep it going. I love it. Oscar 7, it's nice flying with you. Hopefully we'll see you again sooner rather than later.